Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Let us start this lecture with a thought process by Albert Einstein who says education is not the learning of facts but the training of minds to think. Unfortunately, modern education is not providing an opportunity uh, to develop a good mind rather it is emphasizing on learning of facts. So, let us uh, recall uh, what we learnt in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we basically looked at how does the lifetime of a fuel particle uh, varies and we also looked at the time requirement for initial droplet diameter burning for carbon and kerosene and then we put, uh, we also uh, discuss about the coal sphere. Uh, and uh, b being a volatilized or pyrolyzed uh, fuel sphere. And later on we moved into the temperature uh, to derive uh, expression for the temperature profile and uh, we had uh, derived the expression uh, for temperature in between. Uh, that expression is basically, let me write down again that is R square C P T is equal to K G R square D T by D R plus S R square delta S C. Keep in mind this we had given equation 4 if I remember correctly. And uh, if you look at these remain constant right by continuity we know that m dot double dash r square is equal to nothing but your m dot s r square. So, we can uh, write down here basically uh, in this place I can write down m dot s r square right remains same. So, uh, by rearranging equation 4 we can write down we can have that is m double dot s r square and I can take this C p t and then minus delta S c is equal to k g r square I can write down d t by d r C p t C p I can minus delta S c. So, uh, if you look at, so I can write down basically C p t here 1 by C p here. Now, I can uh, simplify further it further we can have d c p t minus delta s c divided by c p t minus delta s c I can have 
is equal to r square d r by r square I can write down and this is k g by c p. And now, I can integrate it this one from t to t infinity and similarly here I can integrate with respect to basically r to r is equal to infinity. And uh, keep in mind that we can simplify here k g by rho c p I can uh, write down basically alpha g alpha g is nothing but your k g by rho c p and this is your thermal So, uh, we will get by integrating this is basically ln C p t minus delta S c is equal to and I can write down k g by c p is nothing but your alpha g by rho g I can say this is rho g and minus 1 by r and this integration from r to infinity and that is uh, equal to if you look at uh, when r is equal to uh, infinity that will be 0. So, this became basically I can is nothing but your s r square r s square divided by alpha g by rho g 1 by r. So, this is uh, basically I can say equation 5 and uh, we had earlier derived an expression for similar term in terms of mass fraction of oxidizer. So, uh, as we had derived an expression for uh, this term like uh, in as uh, m dot s r square by rho g diffusivity 1 by r is equal to ln y o x this is uh, basically t to t infinity y o x infinity plus 1 by f y o x plus 1 by f. let us say this by combining this equation and also uh, we can write down equation 5 and 6 we can have. Keep in mind that this when we will integrate this term I will get basically ln
C p t infinity minus delta S c C p t minus delta S c and this term will come. So, which is nothing but your uh, equal to in place of this I will be replacing this I will get is equal to rho d 1 by 2 rho g divided by rho z alpha z is into l n y o x infinity plus 1 by f y o x plus 1 by f. So, this will cancel it out I can say this is equation 7. Now, we got an expression basically uh, in terms of uh, temperature and also the mass fraction of oxidizer. Now, if I take this anti lug and uh, keeping in mind that Lewis number is equal to 1 in this expression Lewis number is equal to 1 we have considered Lewis number equal that means the basically diffusivity is nothing but your alpha uh, g that means this is going to 1. So, therefore, uh, uh, we can uh, simplify this equation 7 and also taking anti log by simplifying equation 7. anti log we can have C p t delta S c C p t infinity delta S c is equal to y o x f plus 1 divided by y o x infinity f plus 1. We had derived earlier that y o x a plus 1 y o x infinity a plus 1 is nothing but your b c plus 1 power to the r by r. So, this is your basically 8 I can say this is 9 by combining equation 8 and 9 we can have C p t delta S c C p t infinity delta S c is equal to B c plus 1 r by r. So, if I will uh, this is my equation 10 if I simplify further I can get an expression for C p for temperature C p t is equal to delta S c plus C p t infinity minus delta S c B c plus 1 r by r and uh, we can basically simplify it further and get some expression like that that is I will get because if I divide this by the C p this equation C p here C p here similarly C p with this I will get T is equal to delta S c by C p is equal to 
t infinity minus delta s c by c p b c plus 1 r minus r. So, this is the expression it is 11. Now, if you consider this at the fuel surface T uh, is basically T s and fuel surface means what R by R equal to 1 and B C is we know that is F y o x infinity and equation becomes T s is nothing but your delta s c c p and uh, plus T infinity delta s c by c p I can write down here that in place of b c I can write down f y o x infinity plus 1 and this will be minus 1. And if I will simplify this expression I will get T s is equal to basically I can do that that I will get I will just write down the final expression that is T infinity plus f delta s c y o x infinity divided by c p f y o x infinity plus 1. So, this is the expression you will get the surface temperature 12. Now, keep in mind that this expression temperature is varying with respect to ra radius and of course, it is a function of uh, uh, values like for example, T is a function of what T is a function of delta S c also function of f sorry T s is a function of the f and uh, delta S c and also the T infinity and y o x infinity and these properties basically combustion parameter. And these are ambient conditions. So, by uh, that means, T s is basically function of f and also delta s c and it will be dependent also the T infinity and y o x. f is basically fuel and oxidizer ratio. For example, if we will consider the carbon sphere is uh, burning in the presence of air in air and to produce carbon monoxide at a moderate temperature and uh, with uh, deficient oxygen level. So, uh, as per the reaction it will be 2 C plus O 2 it is going to basically 2 C O 2. And in this case the what will be F? F will be basically uh, 24 by 32. And if I consider T infinity is 300 Kelvin and Y O x infinity will be 0 0.232 and if I consider the heat of combustion as 
8.4 mega joule per kg and CP value I need. So, CP I will take 1.148 kilo joule per kg Kelvin, I will get a surface temperature which is 1340 K. And I can consider another uh, extreme situation where the large quantity of oxygen is diffusing to the carbon particle, right. Oxygen is diffusing large quantity is not deficient and it is at high temperature, right. Then uh, we will consider uh, basically uh, the reaction to occur at high temperature and uh, excess or oxygen level. So, we will say that the reaction which will be occurring is C plus oxygen going to the carbon dioxide. In this case F will be 12 by 32 and we will take the same condition T infinity is 300 Kelvin, Y O X infinity is 0 0.232. But however, delta S C may be higher. So, we will consider as 30.5 mega joule per kg. If I uh, substitute all these values in equation uh, for the surface temperature that we had derived earlier, we will get the T S is 2402 Kelvin, right. We will evaluate that. And keep in mind that this is a uh, we have estimated from this analysis. However, the actual temperature if we will measure it will be much lower as compared to this estimated surface temperature of carbon sphere. The question arises why it is so? It is because of fact that we have not considered the radiation uh, losses from the fuel surface which is quite exorbitant and uh, also the, the properties which we have taken as a constant. So, therefore, uh, basically temperature will be much lower. So, let us look at how does this uh, temperature varies in the gas phase uh, for this CO case. So, it will be decreasing with respect to R and this is your basically fuel surface. This is corresponding to uh, R by R equal to 1 and this is the fuel surface right at fuel surface this point. So, it is decreasing asymptotically decreasing and we can uh, see that. Now, we have looked at uh, this on the quiescent atmosphere, but uh, let us look at what happens when it is in a convective atmosphere like means carbon. in convective environment. See if you look at in real situation what happened it is not that we will have to burn the any fuel sphere or fuel particle in a quiescent atmosphere, but mostly with the flow. So, if I assume there is a flow which is taking place, let us say this is a uniform flow with a V, then what will happen? There will be some boundary layer will be formed, right. This is your boundary layer and also the flow will be slightly separated out and there will be wake formations wake region because the this is the uh, point of point of flow separation and of course for this you want to analyze it is quite difficult and you will have to basically solve the uh, 
uh, momentum equation and uh, two dimensional at least or maybe three dimensional it is quite complex and which is difficult to tractable along with the chemical reaction. Therefore, people have conducted experiment and they have come up with a basically empirical result and the experimental results for heat transfer coefficient. What is more important the how much heat being transferred from here if we evaluate then we can also find out what is the droplet burnings and other things. So, we can do that uh, result for the convective heat transfer coefficient H as H by C P G this is basically gas is equal to rho g diffusivity and d naught is the initial droplet diameter 2 plus 0 0.6 r e d this is half and this is 1 by third cimit number. So, d is basically initial diameter of well and uh, CPG is specific heat of gas and uh, if you look at Reynolds number is based on diameter this could have been D ok diameter D naught I can write down rho V D naught by mu. This is your Reynolds number and Simit number is nothing but your kinematic viscosity divided by diffusivity. And V is basically one can consider the actual velocity or in real situation you can consider the relative velocity between the sphere and fluid because this particle also will be moving. So, therefore, uh, it is important to take the relative velocity and keep in mind that you will by using this expression one can get a uh, similar to the d square law it is not d square law, but you can get a some expression by that you can really use it in a actual calculation. So, with this uh, we will stop over and in the next lecture we will be moving into a new topic combustion and environment. Thank you very much.